This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Lucy Adeyemi. A senior Zambia police commander has defended the rights of six activists to protest. The six are on trial for staging a demonstration at Parliament over a $42 million firefighting procurement deal. In a magistrate court in Lusaka province, Deputy Police Commissioner Godfrey Kunda says the accused have the constitutional right to demonstrate as they complied with the law. He added that an attempt to verbally ban the march may have led to the situation and the arrest of the campaigners. Kunda said his office failed to respond to a notice given by the protesters signaling their intention to picket parliament during the finance minister's budget speech last year. The six have pleaded not guilty to charges of disobeying a lawful order and insisted they had the right to protest within the grounds of parliament. Zambia's opposition has accused President Lungu of increasingly authoritarian behavior. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez made his first official visit to Morocco on Monday to push for greater cooperation between the two countries on tackling migration. Sachet said after talks with Moroccan government, migration is a shared responsibility and called for a reinforcement of that cooperation. He was accompanied by a government delegation for his first visit to the North African nation since taking office in June. Spain has become the main entry point for migrants crossing the Mediterranean this year, with majority departing from Morocco. Figures from the International Organization for Migration, IOM, show that more than 50,000 migrants have crossed into Spain so far this year. Moroccan authorities say at least 68,000 illegal attempts were stopped between January and the end of September. Morocco says a complex and important immigration question cannot be resolved solely through a security approach, but that it is important to favor the development of departure countries in Africa. Throughout the year, Spanish ministers and officials have traveled to Rabat to discuss security issues and migration. Madrid has been pressing the European Union for months to unlock funds for Morocco to better tackle people smuggling into the bloc. We'll be back after this short break. MTN gives 2,000% bonus for reactivating your MTN sale. That's right. If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. It was World Toilet Day and for the second year in a row, the charity Water Aid has alighted Ethiopia to have a poor record when it comes to access to toilets in homes. It has reported that 93% of Ethiopians lack basic sanitation where they live, making it the lowest ranked nation on the continent. The figure is 90% for Chad, Madagascar and South Sudan. Water Aid says more than 340 million children overall in sub-Saharan Africa do not have access to a decent toilet, thereby increasing the risk of death from diseases like diarrhea. The report also highlighted the lack of toilets in schools for children. It reports 60% of schools in the region have no toilets. That's a tough thing to perceive. That's ANN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, nnafrica.net. Also, join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at nnafricatv. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.